Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer, let's get cooking. Today I'm gonna make tuna fish croquettes. Most people are used to salmon croquettes or crab cakes, but most people never use tuna fish and they turn out really good. So let's get started. I'm gonna use canola oil. Somebody made a comment that it's healthier than vegetable oil, so I switched because I'm trying to be more healthy. I've got some Dijon mustard, some breadcrumbs. I'm only gonna use one can because you know I'm only the person who's gonna eat this. Some black pepper, one egg, scallion onions, some celery, and I have lemon juice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up, put you guys on pause, and I'm gonna saute these. And I'm not gonna show you that, well, I'll show you a little bit of it, and then I'll put that in a bowl, and then we'll get cooking. So I'll be right back, and remember, I have a great joke today. Okay, I got my vegetables, cooked vegetables in here. I'm gonna add the egg. And I'm gonna add a little bit of the lemon juice. It's my new contraption here. I'm gonna take this off. I always add lemon juice when I'm doing fish. Some black pepper. Because you know normally when you make tuna fish, you put mayonnaise and all kinds of stuff in here. So that's why I just use the um, the celery and the onions to mix in here. And I cook them because I don't want them to be, um, you know, really raw. I'm gonna put a little bit of mustard. This is Dijon. Mash this up really good. You so make these in the croquettes like the same thing you would do with salmon, but you're doing with tuna fish. I guess this was really big back in the. 50s and 60s, a lot of people probably couldn't afford salmon, so they used tuna. You know, there's a bone, you believe that? And that was albacore white tuna. And, and water, I meant to tell you too. I'm shocked. First time I've ever seen a bone. And this recipe does call for two eggs. I was trying to use one. I'm going to have to use the second one. Okay. Yeah, the recipe I found, because my mother never made these, but I had them once. And the woman that does my hair told me about the recipe, and I was just like shocked. I was like, oh, wow, that's a good idea, because most people aren't hip to tuna croquettes, just uh, salmon and like I said, possibly crab cakes. So I'm going to eyeball this, because I make salmon croquettes quite a bit. I'm going to add a little bit more breadcrumbs to this. And I am going to make these into patties and put them in the refrigerator for about... 20 to 30 minutes to let them rest. Okay. So, here we go. Make some nice. I'm going 
coat these two in um, breadcrumbs, something I normally don't do for my croquettes, but I am gonna go ahead and roll these in some breadcrumbs once I get them all made. Should be only four, I only made one can of tuna, and it was a, not a real large can, but it was the itty bitty one. And these are just for me, probably have them with some rice. Just a different alternative to a salmon croquettes. If you, whoops, if you like salmon croquettes, you'll love these. If you, if you like tuna fish, I love all fish, except for a swordfish. I have to give that another try. And sea bass. I've only had them both once and I did not like them. I sent the sea bass back. It was at a very expensive restaurant, so I wasn't paying for that. But they say give everything a chance three times because maybe it wasn't prepared the way you like it or properly. I'm going to put you on hold, wash my hands, get ready to bread these, and we'll get ready to fry them. Okay, I'm going to show you how I'm going to coat these in some breadcrumbs here. Yikes. You see, they're really easy to fall apart, so I'm going to put them in the fridge and let them sit for a few minutes so they don't fall apart in the grease. Give them a little extra coating, extra crunch. I would have used panko, but I was out, and I know here you guys go again. And the store I went to didn't have any, not in the box, not any kind of panko breadcrumbs. So that was a bummer. But these will work just fine. Most of the time people use crushed up crackers when they make salmon croquettes. So I'm gonna get these in the fridge, let them rest, get the heat up, the oil up to temperature, and then we'll start cooking. I'll be right back. Okay, my oven's up to temp. I'm gonna get the um, the fish croquettes out of the freezer and start frying. There's only four in that one can. That's all it made was four. So if you're cooking for a family, you would definitely need two cans of tuna. Alternative to salmon. Now on that Jackson 5 movie, The American Dream, she did macro. This was years ago. You know, this movie's been out at least 20 years. But anyway, I said, oh, I never had macro. So I bought a can of macro and uh, made it like salmon croquettes. It was the nastiest thing I ever had in my life. Macro is another fish that I do not like, even though I love fish. I'm not trying it anymore. Definitely not in a croquette. It'd have to be cooked some other kind of way because it was nasty to make it like this. See, these are frying up. Just let them cook for a little while on each side, just for a few minutes. Get them nice and brown. So see you can see them. It's gonna take a couple minutes. And I like to put them in the freezer, even my salmon croquettes, just for 20 to 30 minutes. It keeps them from breaking up really bad when you're cooking. Got my oven on a, I mean my stove, well my eye, I should call it, on medium high heat. And Nina, my hairdresser, she's the one that told me to go ahead and make these because she hasn't seen this on um, YouTube. Anybody do tuna fish croquettes? And I had neither, so I thought that would be different. And just a little disclaimer, I do have a video on salmon croquettes that I made eight years ago. Yikes. And um, it is one of my best videos, and I didn't even film it was eight years ago, and it's terrible. But for some reason, the past two weeks, it has gotten over a thousand views. So, if you like salmon croquettes, you might want to check that out. Everybody in the world seems to like that eight-year-old video that I shot. Here we go. They turn over easier with two spatulas, that's what I found. And as you see, they look beautiful. Let me just cook a few more minutes on this side. Then I'll take them out. I got a great joke for you guys. Um, my, husband, my cousin, Darren, he sends me the best jokes. Some of them are very, very, very risque. And he sent me a joke the other day. And he said, all the other jokes I sent you were Prius jokes. 
This is the Cadillac section, and boy, oh boy, they're out there bad. But um, anyway, um, we'll try and keep them respectful. Uh, definitely, <laughs> definitely nothing um, that's gonna offend anybody unless you don't like dirty jokes, because they are nasty, but um, hopefully not offensive. And then I always give you an inspirational quote too, just on the flip side. So you got something naughty and something nice. And as you see, these are just about done. Oh yeah. Check them. Yeah, these are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. As you see how quick they they cook nicely. Looks just like a salmon croquette, except this tuna fish. So I guess you could fool some people and tell them they're salmon croquettes and then see what they say. So I'm going to let these blot on some paper towel, change the paper towel because I don't want them greasy. Set up, get, come back and tell you guys my joke. Stay with me. Okay guys, there you have it. Tuna fish croquettes. They look beautiful and they're tuna fish. A lot of people wouldn't think that you could uh, make croquettes out of tuna or just never thought to do it. But let me tell you my joke. Okay, this man walks into a restaurant and he asked the man, he said, how much, he stutters really bad, how much for a hamburger? And the guy says, $6.95. The gentleman says, ooh, that's too high. So then he says, well, how about a hot dog? And the guy said, those are $4.95. The gentleman says, Ooh wee, that's too high. So he says, well, how much are your french fries? And the, the guy at the, the waiter says, those are $3.95. He said, oh my, that's too high. Ooh, everything in here is so high. So the guy says, you're not gonna say anything about my stuttering? The gentleman says, oh no, no, I've been around other people that stutter. He said, you're not gonna say anything about this hump on my back? The guy says, hump? Th th that's a hump. I thought that was your ass. Everything else is so high. Okay, that's my joke. Thought you'd like it. I heard that right after I got out of the Air Force in the 80s. My roommate told me that. But anyway, thanks for watching. God bless. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share if you like this video. And please give this a try. It's definitely a cheap alternative to uh, salmon croquettes, tuna croquettes. Thank you and have a good evening.